All right, this video is a challenge if you're in my class. If you're not, hey, this is a good thing if you can pull this off. Not too difficult. We're going to install phpMyAdmin in a Docker. We're going to link that Docker up to the MySQL database as well so that we can browse it. And if you can take a screenshot of this or demonstrate to the instructor in the room that you have this open, you'll get credit. You can see that by clicking on WordPress DB here, I have um, all of my WP underscore tables and I'm on my IP address. Now, I'm going to give you some hints. I set my, because my WordPress is on port 80, I can't also have my PHP my admin on port 80. So I put my PHP my admin on port 8080. That's the first hint. The second hint is you're going to want to look for the PHP my admin here. Read through everything that's going on. Ignore the Docker Compose files for now. We will talk about Docker Compose later. You'll see these text files that you can kind of create. Don't do those. Um, unless you really think you can figure it out, I encourage you to hack out Docker Compose. We'll be looking at that next. But look at all the options and look at the environment variables because these environment variables are going to be important because you're going to need to tell PHP my admin what is the host name of my MySQL server, right? Because the MySQL server host name is my Maria. If this PHP my admin Docker has a network of my network, just like we connected WordPress to MySQL using a database host, host name of my Maria, we're going to need to connect this PHP my admin to MySQL using a host name of my Maria as well. And so when you get to the point where you have PHP my admin installed and you've got all of your WP uh, tables here, take a screenshot, show it to the instructor, and that's going to be credit. Good luck getting uh, PHP my admin up and running here. I think that's a pretty good challenge based on everything that we've done.